We're here at KO Zone, home of Slaughterhouse Boxing, one of the top gyms for BKFC. I'm here with Howard Davis. Howard Davis is getting ready for his fight on December 3rd. How you doing today, sir? I'm doing good, bro. You? I'm excellent. Thank you for asking. So tell us a little bit about this uh, fight on December 3rd. What do you know about your opponent? Uh, my opponent is a scrapper. You know, he comes forward. Um, he throws a lot of bombs, a lot of wide punches. So stick to my boxing, counter on his wide looping shots, and try to get him out of there early. So what are you doing in order to prepare for that style here? I'm sparring shorter fighters, fighters that's putting more pressure on me. Um, I'm getting the both of um, both worlds, to be honest. So I'm sparring with some technical guys just to keep myself you know, in tune with my um, reactions and stuff like that. And then the pressure fighting so I can know how to react to certain things. So if he come forward a lot of punches, I don't just throw something and get caught with something. I catch and return and stuff like that. So really just stick it to my boxing in this fight. Well, we saw some of that sparring with one of those pressure fighters here, a guy who's probably got 40 pounds on you. 50, 50. We're not going to say who it is, but he's also on the card. He's also training out of this gym. So I think I think December third, man, fans are going to be in for a great show. Especially, he he's definitely going to bring the fight, and I'm definitely going to bring the fight like all my fights. But I'm definitely going to capitalize on every opportunity when he slips up and throws one too wild or just throwing a flurry, thinking that I'm gonna, you know, go like this and put my defense up and not return, you know. But that's his mistake. I'm training the right way, and hopefully he is too. So your last fight at BKFC ended in a draw. What have you learned from that uh, experience? The most important thing I learned from that experience is, you know, take big opportunities when they come, but also never fight when you're not 100%. I fought with my hand torn in multiple places and by my knuckles and tendons and ligaments, and I got surgery after. So this is my first fight back in three or four months. So, you know, I'm a warrior. I went in with no excuses. I went in and fought a dude who has damn near 40 fights, almost 30 wins. One of the UFC headliners, the big name in um, Jimmy Rivera. I don't even have 10 fights. So. You know, I took a big challenge, and then I didn't get the result that I wanted, but it was definitely a learning experience. Exactly. And how can your fans follow you out there? Uh, my Instagram is 6HD4 underscores. That's my main social media. I'm on Instagram. I post my workouts, my training, everything leading up to the fight, my sponsors, everything on that page. Okay, so come out December 3rd, meet Howard Davis in person, but let me warn you, do not try and give him a fist bump or shake his hand afterwards, not to him, not to any of these guys. It's bare knuckle. They just got done doing some serious damage to their hands, but this guy is a champ. You're going to see a lot of him. Thank you.